Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I'll show you how to add users and roles to Firebird database. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my previous video I showed you how to install Firebird in Linux. So here we'll be implementing some other features. So in order to interact with the Firebird database we'll use our usual program interactive SQL okay and of course we'll be connecting using the default user which is sysdba and also with the password so normally the default password is master key okay but as I showed you in the previous lesson we have set up this password to just a simple one one two three okay so we'll use these credentials in order to interact with our firebird server here we go so now we are connected so let's create for example a simple database to work with it so i will create a database named for example sales db and the default extension for uh, Firebird database is FDB, okay? But you can use any other extension if you want. And of course, we'll be connecting with this default uh, SysDBA user. Okay, SysDBA and with same password, just simple one as one, two, three. And do not forget the semicolon at the end okay so this statement will create a database called salesdb.fdb in the current directory so if you want to actually put this database in any folder all you have to do here is to provide the full path to the directory where the database will reside okay so here make sure to put the name of the database between codes. Here we go. Now we have created our database. Okay. So let's create, for example, a simple table. So I will create a table called, for example, cells. And it will contain ID as primary key. So it will be a varchar, for example, of 10 characters and should not be null because it's primary key okay so here the syntax is similar to the mysql syntax or mariadb syntax okay and let's add another column for our database for example i will call it just item here with var char of for example 30 okay and finally let's add a description column that has as a data type varchar for example 40 and that's all I guess and always the semicolon at the end so here we have simple table called cells with three columns ID as primary key so here I forget the keywords key okay and now the second column is the item which has 13, 30 characters and finally description column which has 40 characters okay here we go so let's try to insert some data so I'll use here the statement insert into table name which is in this case is called cells so I'll put here the first ID which is 001 and let's put it for example apples and the description let's say produced or produced in France for example okay so this is our first row and always semicolon at the end here I forget keyword values because after the table name we should add the values keyword to respect this SQL syntax here we go 
let's add another item here for example two and let's say banana okay let's say produce it in brazil for example or uh, germany let's add a third item okay let's say coffee for example and of course coffee will be produced in brazil or colombia if you want okay here we go so let's verify that we have inserted all our records here so i'll do select statement select all from our table which is cells here we go so we have here our three items but remember we created actually this uh, table and this database using the sysdba which is admin actually user for the whole database server so let's try to create a user and to assign it some privileges okay so first of all i will quit from the interactive sql here not forget semicolon at the end so i will use just quit semicolon here we go so in order to add another user we'll be using this command here gsec and we specify our database and our default user which is sysdba and the password of course is 123 so let's try to use this program in order to add another user so here we are inside gsec so let's add for example another admin let's call it uh, test admin and let's give it here a password so here the password should be at least eight characters so i'll be using one two three four five six seven eight here we go so now we have created our test admin with the password from one to eight okay so now we can exit our gsec program so i'll type just here quit here we go so after that let's connect once again to our sales db so i'll use here the command interactive sql okay and the name of our database which is sales db dot fdb okay and of course here i'll be using the default user which is sysdba and with its password which is okay so remember now we have just two users sysdba and actually test admin so now we'll try to connect to our database in order to create a role and to assign some privileges to this role and finally to assign the user test admin to this role so here we go now we are inside sales dp okay so let's create a role we can name it whatever we want let's create it or name it first admin role for example first admin role okay so don't forget semicolon at the end so this command will create simply role named first admin role okay and now let's grant the privileges so our grant select statement update for example and uh, let's say insert and also delete on the table which is table is name is cells okay to our role which the name is first admin role and always semicolon at the end so with this command here or syntax here we grant select update insert delete on the table cells to actually this role which is first admin role here we go so we have no error 
and finally we must assign the user test admin that we have created to this role so we'll simply type grant so the role name is first admin role so make sure to not commit a mistype in here to the user that we just created which the name is test admin okay and of course semicolon here we go so it's pretty nice pretty good so now the user test admin has actually select update insert delete uh, privileges on the cells table okay so i will quit and let's verify that so now once again let's connect to our sales db but this time i'll not be using csdp but the test admin to verify that he has actually the privileges that we assigned to him and the password is of course one two three four five six seven eight here we go so now we are inside it as you can see here the user is test admin and not the sysdba as before so let's verify that he has select statement privileges so select all from the cells so here no permission for select access to table cells so why is that so you can see here even we assigned this user to the role first admin role he cannot get actually execute the select statement why is that simply because we didn't specify the role when we are connecting to the database so i will show you how so we'll use the same statement but here we must add the role so the role is the first admin role so make sure to type it very or correctly admin role here we go and here you can see that now he has actually access to the database with this role which is first admin role so now let's verify if he can execute select statement on the table cells actually he has because here we didn't get any actually uh, he didn't get a result because all the statement were created using this is dba role okay so let's try for example to insert some data because he has insert privileges let's insert into cells values so i will add here item for example 004 and uh, that would be for example kiwi and let's say they are produced, produced in Japan so let's say if he can execute the statement actually he can let's add another statement for example 5 and here oranges and let's say they are produced in Lebanon okay now let's see if he can execute select statement here we go now he can actually use the select statement and the previous one he cannot use them because they were created using this is dba admin okay so we can verify also that he can execute for example delete statement so delete delete all from our table cells for example where the id is equal for example let's delete kiwi 004 okay here we go so here i have actually did a mistake actually i don't have 
to make this asterisk here so delete from table where ig here we go so let's now execute our select statement and of course we have only one item finally let's update our table update cells let's update our table cells let's set for example item is equal to something else for example avocado where the id is equal to 005 and once again <laughs> I, I have mistake actually set I have to remove this E here here we go so we have updated let's verify it so we have avocado so you can see here this user actually has all the privileges that we have assigned to it select delete update and also insert okay so that was just a brief introduction how to use actually or how to add users and role in Firebird as always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.